Now let's turn our attention to Isaiah chapter 58. And we're going to read from verse 3 to 7 in the King James. And then Emmanuel is going to help us to read in the Amplified. Isaiah 58 verse 3 to 7. The Amplified will amplify it and make us understand what it's saying. Wherefore, these are the people now speaking through Isaiah to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not. They said to God, we have been fasting and you have not seen. Lord, our pastor declared 100 days fast. We fasted and you have not seen. In fact, Lord, this year we are fasting the whole year and you have not seen. Wherefore have we afflicted our souls and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, this is God now answering them. In the day of your fast, ye find pleasure and exact all your labors. We are going to see the meaning in the Amplified as Emmanuel begins to read for us. In verse 4 it says, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate. We fasted 30 days. We are fasting 60 days. We fasted 60 days. We are fasting 100 days. And uh, you, you people, people think that you can do 100 days. We can. That is it. For strife and for debate. It is not competition. Who can fast longest? And to smite with the feast of wickedness. There is still wickedness in your midst. The poor in your midst, they are still poor. Somebody did an analysis the other day. On the matter of tithing. They said the tithe is meant for the poor. And I dare add those who minister at the altar who have consecrated themselves for that purpose. And then he did the analysis and said if people actually tithed, there shouldn't be poverty in the land. And he gave an example of the United States of America in a particular year that there were 74 million people who said that they were Christians. They professed Christianity. And he looked at the average income in the United States at the time. Can't remember what the figure came up to. But for the sake of simple multiplication, just use a simple thing for simple, let's just say it was $1,000 per month. And say the tithe of $1,000 is how much? $800. $100 times 74 million people, if they were faithful, what does that come to? $7.4 billion. Should you have poor people in that nation? If it was used for its purpose. And we have not mourned. People are taking the tithe and using it for their own pleasure. And we have not mourned. In an attempt to fight against people using the tithe for their own pleasure, some people have now started a movement against tithing. And we have not mourned. I continue verse 4. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush? And to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness? If your fasting has not removed wickedness from your midst, your fasting is useless. To undo the heavy burdens? There are people still laden with sin. And they are still there. What is, the, what is the essence of the fasting there? And to let the oppressed go free and that he break every yoke. Is that not the essence of the fast? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? Many of us, when it's time to fast, say, I thank God, I, I, will, I, will, I will save my money. God says, no, feed the poor. The poor don't have anything to eat anyway. They've been fasting. Now that you are fasting, feed the poor. Sadly, the Muslims got it right. When they do their salah, you see the rich men, they gather them to, to feed them. I remember being in Kano once when they had that fast. Come and see all the young men on the street. They had sent food to them. They all gathered as in fellowship to eat. How can you have hatred in that kind of a community? 
but not in the church. Each man covers his own food. Doesn't want the other person to know that he's eating. Selfishness is the order of the day. And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. The people who are wandering on the streets. Have you taken care of them? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him. And that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. The relatives. The rest is the reward when you are fasting appropriately. Emmanuel, please, give us, read the Amplified, but read it slowly. Use the mic. Verse 3 first. Why have ye fasted? They say, and you do not see it. Why have ye afflicted ourselves? Why have we afflicted ourselves? And you take no knowledge of it. Behold, Israel, on this day of your fast, when you should be grieving. Note that. Your soul. This day of your fast, when you should be what? Grieving. When you should be sorrowful for sin. Continue to read, please. Take it from when, when you should be grieving. When you should be grieving. When you should be grieving for your sins. You find profit in your business. You find profit. You are, all you are looking for is how to make money. So you still open your shop. You still run your shop. When you should be grieving for sin. You still are able to do business. Continue, please. And, in, and instead of stopping all work, as the Lord implies, you and your work, you, you, you and your workmen should do. You extort from your hired servant a full amount of labor. Instead of giving your workers break, say, okay, we are fasting. Don't bother. You say, no, 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 I can't pay them salary if they don't work. So you exact the full measure. In fact, that's when you want to be sure that they are working the normal 8 or 10 hours, whatever it is. You want to be sure they are working. That way. Continue, please. The facts are that you fast only for strife. You fast only for strife. Each man wants to show that his, his son is bigger than the other person. And debate. And debate. And to smite with the feast of wickedness. Of wickedness. I mean, what kind of fast is that? If you were grieving for sin, can you, can you still strike somebody with a fist of wickedness? It's not possible. But because there is no grief for sin, our fast is just hypocrisy. It's a show. Oh, this church is fasting. That is what it has become. Hypocr hypocritical fasting. Continue, please. Fasting as you do today will not cause your voice to be heard on high. God, God says, I'm not hearing anything. It's so maybe wait. So maybe you have been fasting. So you say, and it seems as if God is not hearing. Ask the question: Was it mourning for sin? Was it grieving for sin? Was it grieving that the work of God is suffering? Was it a concern that the flame of zeal in the church has waned? Continue, please. In such a fast, is such a fast as yours, what I have chosen, a day for a man to humble himself with sorrow in his soul, is true fasting merely me mechanical? Do not, please, pause. Is it, me what we are doing is mechanical fasting. In fact, that's the word that attracted me to it because it was, it was ringing in my spirit, man, mechanical. And I never knew that it was in the Amplified. And God told me to go and look at it. And then I said, it's true, it's mechanical. All we do is a mechanical fasting. Start at six, we wake at six. Start at, some, some of us, we never wake up at four to eat. And then break at six. They say, we are, ah, that fast was serious. Oh, God help me. God just really helped me there. I was able to overcome. Who are you fooling? That's a mechanical fast. Continue, please. Is it only to bow down his head like a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ash under him to indicate a condition of heart that he does not have? Of course. The essence of the tearing of the cloth and the ashes is what? Not what I said at the beginning. When you are mourning, if you are truly mourning, that's what you will do. Do you understand? If you see people who are mourning, they don't change clothes. They don't think of taking their bath. In, those, in the olden days, when you go to the village and somebody has said, oh, you see the person rolling on the I don't know how many of you have witnessed it. 
See the person rolling on the ground. Oh, the, if it's a woman, her rapper is going all. People are the ones dragging to cover her nakedness. That don't always possible. Say, no, no, leave me. Let me die. My son has died. How can I be alive? You will tell you beggar. Mama, come and eat. No future. No future. You'll be begging her. Eat, eat. Why? Because she's mourning. Do you understand? You have to beg her to eat. In fact, sometimes you have to force her to eat. She doesn't want to eat. A fast is how God sees it. If you are mourning for sin, food will be the last thing on your mind. That's what God is saying. So the definition we ascribe as in abstinence from food is actually the consequence of mourning. But now, we continue with abstinence from food without mourning. It's not a fast. Do you understand that? So God is saying here, all your actions is as though your heart has been torn before God, but it has not. So God does not look at your physical action of stopping to eat, but the state of your heart. And he does not see a repentant heart. He does not see a sorrowful heart. And says, I cannot accept whatever you are saying. Because it's not a fast. Continue to read please. Will you call this a fast? and an acceptable deal to the Lord. Rather, is not this the fast that I have chosen? You lose the bound of wickedness to undo the bound of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every enslaving yoke. Is it not to divide your bread with the hungry and bring the hum homeless poor into your house when you see the naked, that you cover him and that you hide not yourself from the needs of your own flesh and blood. Praise the name of the Lord. You have poor people in your midst, you are not taking care of them. And you say you are fasting 100 days fast. What kind of fast is that? God says, I'm not going to listen to you. Because it's not acceptable. You want me to meet needs in your life, but you are not meeting needs in other people's lives. We quarrel. We strive. Any act of fasting that does not manifest in acts of mercy, in acts of kindness, is not a spiritual, or sorry, is not a scriptural fast. If your fasting does not result in a kind deed, either by intercessory prayers, or by a physical act, it's not a scriptural fast. When you fast, mourn. That's what the Lord Jesus is saying to us. When you fast, grieve for sin. When you fast, have godly sorrow that leads to repentance. Don't let your fast be mechanical. That is hypocrisy. That's what the Lord is saying. 